the Georgia Bulldogs are starting off their class of 2024 recruiting early by picking up one of the best quarterbacks in the class in Ryan Puglisi. This guy, A, hey, 6'3", 205, he's one of the best players in Connecticut, which you normally don't see a lot of players coming out of Connecticut, but this kid, he can, he can move the ball. This is something that you wanna see. Look at, look at how effortlessly this ball gets across the field. This is not a short throw. It, it might be a short throw distance-wise, but he's on the opposite hash, throws that effortlessly, boom, hits this guy on the money, right in the numbers. Also, if you want to get your highlights featured on my Instagram and TikTok, I'm featuring one of you guys' highlights each and every single day. So be sure to go follow me on Instagram and TikTok, both at Sharp Sports. On TikTok, it's Sharp Sports underscore, but it's the same logo. So go send your highlights to my go send your highlights to my Instagram DM, and I'll be picking one of you guys randomly to uh, to feature your highlights on there every single day. And then I will also be featuring one of you guys' highlights at the end of the week for Subscriber Sunday for a full video on YouTube. So be sure to send all your highlights. But now getting back to my guy Ryan, hey, the Georgia Bulldogs have needed way to put some air up underneath that ball, okay? Let your guy just go up and go make a play up underneath it. But the Georgia Bulldogs, after not being able to keep Justin Fields, you've had decent quarterback play, just not great. A guy like Ryan Puglisi, this guy, he could be one of those guys that actually like takes you to another level. You guys still got Brock Vandergrift there, so I think that he could still make something happen while, while he's there. Um, but a guy like this, especially getting him early, so he's a, he's a junior right now, so not next year, but the year after that will be when he's coming to Georgia. I think a guy like this could definitely mix up Georgia's game a little bit more. I mean, just look at how effortless he, just effortless air up underneath this ball. From the 50, lets it fly, and hits this guy perfectly in stride. That's a dime of a 50-yard throw coming from a junior quarterback. Yeah, when he just gets time to just sit back and just rifle the ball around, he he has a very, very strong arm. I would like to see what he looks like with a little bit more pressure around him and just like if he can move around and scrub around in the pocket. But so far, his footwork looks solid. Mechanically, he's very, very sound. And then the arm talent's there. I mean, look at that quick release. Just get the ball out of his hands. Just uh, pow. I also like how he does double hitch here a little bit, but that's something you can fix. Where on the back foot, just immediately just hit, plants that back foot and just rips through the ball. Okay, okay, yeah. I was about to say, let's, let's see the wheels a little bit. Okay, you can move a little bit. Yeah, my guy Ryan, this guy, he has some arm talent. I see. So 24-7 Sports has him ranked as a three-star quarterback and I think the 32nd best quarterback. But on, on three, he's listed as a four-star guy and he's a top 15 quarterback. I, I, agree more with, I agree more with on three. He definitely has, he's not a three-star guy. His arm talent alone makes him a four-star guy. And then he's got the size too, 6'3", 205. Like he's more than big enough to be able to play at the next level already. Hit that fade. Yeah, oh, you gotta just trust that sometimes. Okay, I I will say I don't like this throw at all. Sometimes you just gotta just trust that. I know it's I know it looked like he was falling down, but worst case scenario, you just gotta get that ball out and just hit one of these people in the back of the end zone. But waiting for the double clutch brings that safety in, into the play. However, I will say where you missed was actually really ridiculous. To miss out and away, that's not a bad place to miss. If you're gonna throw it late, Throw it there, but definitely, definitely sometimes you just gotta just trust the receiver to just go out there and make a play. I mean, he's hitting his guys perfectly in stride. Yeah, with the big arm and, and his ability to hit that deep ball, the Georgia Bulldogs, y'all got one. Y'all got one for sure. Again, always keeps a nice wide base, very stable. He has a very stable base, and that's why he's allowed, That's why he's able to just rip the ball all across the field. He just has effortless throwing motion and effortless throwing power as well. Squares it up. Also, I like the fact that when he he can drive the ball downfield. Normally, you see a lot of guys when they're throw, like they only really know how to put a lot of velocity on deep passes. But the fact that he trusts his arm enough to really rifle balls in in that 10 to 15 yard area that just shows that he that he's also very accurate with the throwing too. He's not just a big arm. Hey, he can move a little bit. Now we we gotta see if it's 
college level being able to move obviously he's got the rest of this year and next year to get faster but so far he definitely has more than enough wheels to be able to scramble a little bit in the pocket also way to take a hit and still be able to deliver the ball yeah rolling away from his throwing arm just squares it up boom throwing it on a rope too these ball like he's throwing lasers out here Hey, Georgia Bulldog fans, y'all should be excited. This this kid is he has a lot of upside. He has a lot of upside. There you go. Step up. Break a tackle. Make a play. Let's go. Oh, see that this is this is that's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. Just falling away a little bit, throw a little back shoulder. Let the receiver go come back and make a play. That's a great throw right there. Every quarterback should be able to have that in their in their arsenal if you want to be playing power five football. I mean, just look at how quickly he's able to get this ball out of his hands when he needs to. Boom. The Bulldogs got them one. Y'all got y'all one for sure. So the Georgia Bulldogs got their quarterback for the class of 2024, already locked and secure in Ryan Puglisi. I'm, I'm sorry for mispronouncing your last name, bro. I'm just going to say Ryan. But this guy has a ton of upside. He is very mechanically and technically sound. I love the fact that just he's not just a big arm. He's not just a guy that can, oh, I can just throw the ball far. He's able to drive the ball downfield. He has effortless throwing power. You see when he, he's just flicking his wrist and the ball just goes flying. You can also see that the ball stays low. He's throwing line drive passes, which is great because the game on the defense side of the ball is only speeding up so you need to be able to fit the ball into tighter and tighter windows and the fact that he trusts himself to be able to rifle that ball in, in going across the middle and he's not afraid of missing or he's not afraid of throwing it behind the guy or throwing it too far in front this guy ryan he has a lot of upside if i'm a georgia bulldogs fan i'm actually very excited to see what he can do i know that you guys got brock vandergriff there I, i'm excited to see what he's able to do once he gets Stetson bennett out Stetson bennett is like he keeps on winning, so you can't really take him out, but he doesn't win you games. Like, the rest of the team wins wins Georgia games. So, I'm just excited to see what Georgia can become once y'all get a really top-tier quarterback, because I feel like y'all can do a similar thing to what Alabama did. Alabama more so relied on their running game and their defense for, for a long period of time, and then they started getting really top-tier quarterbacks, and then things started to turn around. I think that that's where Georgia's at right now, where you guys have had game manager quarterbacks with solid running games and great defenses, once y'all step in and y'all really get a guy who can really spin the ball and get and just get the ball out to the boundaries and hit playmakers on the outside, that's where Georgia's gonna get even scarier. But I want to hear from y'all. Comment down below what do you guys think of your latest 2024 quarterback, Ryan Puglisi. Also, be sure to comment down below what do you guys think of just Georgia football in general. Be sure to leave this video a like and also hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 300,000 subscribers. And with that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.